this is hard. <laughs> Hi mom and random people on the internet watching this right now, it's Cezy and um, for the first time in like forever I don't know what to say. Today's video is different. The day you guys are watching this would be my dad's birthday and in December it will be seven years since he passed but I don't know, it's just... Time is weird guys. I don't really have a clue what I'm gonna say in this video, I just kind of wanted to come on here and talk for a bit, I guess. Oh, I also completely forgot to say, hey dad, um, I know you're watching. <laughs> and you're probably like, Sissy, do those videos in German. You know my English is not the best. It actually wasn't that bad. He actually wrote songs in English, so dad, you can tell me that I can't talk in English. I don't know what to say, guys. I, I basically just like wanted to talk about him for a bit and I know no one's gonna really watch this except for him. And that's the reason why I'm doing it, you know, because I know that he's watching and yeah, I love you. My dad was not your usual dad. I don't know if there is such a thing as a usual dad, but my dad definitely wasn't. My dad was very different. He didn't have a normal job and he also wasn't married to my mom all of his life. He actually had two serious relationships before he got married to my mom. He also had four kids before they had me. And I wasn't the plant kid. My dad actually was like, no, I'm not gonna have another child. And my mom was like, but I want a child so bad. Like if it was for my mom, I would probably have like at least like two or three siblings. Like my mom loves children. So when she got pregnant from my dad and there was this baby on the way, which was me. <laughs> She was really excited and my dad was just like, oh no, another child, I, I have four children and he actually didn't have that good relationships with those children. Like later on in my life, they were completely fine and they loved him and they totally got along. Like all was fine guys, don't worry, but I don't know, he was just very young when he had his first child and then obviously he didn't have a normal job, he didn't earn that much money. He also wasn't married to either of those children's moms. Um, he was just like busy with his music job, he was playing in a band, he was a musician. So no, my dad didn't have the best relationship with his kids. And then there was another one on the way, his fifth child. And he was not that excited I guess, but I know that he loved me. Like, as soon as I was out of my mom's, yeah, you know, <laughs> he started to love me. He always told me how he sat in that room in the hospital. Basically, I was born via C-section and after the birthday gave me to my dad and he just sat there with me in this empty room in the middle of the hospital and yeah, this was his child and it was his fifth one and he wasn't really looking forward to meeting this child but once he did, he kind of, you know, he kind of accepted it. <laughs> Just kidding, he totally loved me. Like, I was his baby. I know I only had like 12 years together with my dad, while all those other people had way more years of him. But in those 12 years, he definitely gave me more than he could ever like give anyone. And I'm so thankful for that, you know? He was the most amazing dad and then cancer happened. <laughs> or life just happened, I guess. I don't know. He was actually lucky enough to kind of get diagnosed with cancer and die, I think like two or three months later. I'm not sure. It was just a very quick thing, but I'm actually really happy about that. I was from the very beginning because my dad was not the type of person that would like lay in hospital for like two years, three years. And I'm just really happy that he didn't end up like that. I was happy that he got into hospital and we all visited him, but at this point he really didn't get anything anymore. Basically, like he had a tumor in his head. Like to him it felt like he was just at home sitting on his couch. And finally all of his kids who were at this point like living all around Germany were visiting him at the same time and they were all there for him and appreciated him for everything that he did for us. Because like he did a lot. And so I actually think he kind of enjoyed the last few weeks in the hospital because it was less horrible for him than it was for all of us. I don't know, this is just like very weird to talk about to a camera. Um, but I don't know, I'm not really talking to a camera, I'm talking to him. And uh, this day is just like um, quite overwhelming every single year. But I just really want to celebrate his birthday instead of his like death date in December. Because the birthday is the day that matters, the day that he kind of experienced this world for the first time. 
all of this long time ago. <laughs> Gosh, my dad was old, you know? I just hope he had the best life and I just hope that I maybe helped with that. I'm sure I did, but to be honest, like he did the much better job in my case. And although it's been like such a long time and although I was a child at the point that he passed away, he's still with me every single day and he kind of changes my life every single day and I still learn so much from him and kind of appreciate him so much. And I really appreciate the time that I had with him, which actually was a lot if you think about it. Like I know that there are many children out there who maybe don't have a dad or they have a dad but the dad is working all day and they don't really get to see him that often. My parents actually separated when I was like five or six but I still saw him as often as possible and I was over like every single day for food, I don't know. So I got all the time I needed with him and I got even more and to this day I'm still really really thankful for that and I will never forget that. Well I'm actually like getting really emotional talking about this. Usually I'm like the funny kid hiding my feelings and kind of just trying to entertain you guys but not today I guess. I don't know it was just like important for me to talk about it and to kind of spread awareness. Guys if you have a dad, if you have a mom, I don't know, if you have just like anyone in life to be honest that you like really love and it is really important to you, tell them every single day and appreciate the time that you have with them because you never know when that time might be over. It can happen very fast and it did for me but I still had the most amazing childhood with the most amazing dad in the world and yeah once again happy birthday dad. I hope you're having a good one wherever you are. I know I'm in your thoughts and you are in mine and now I'm gonna stop like rambling to all those random people on the internet that probably aren't interested in our little thing. You know, we can just like go on talking to each other, just the two of us, as always. <laughs> also to all those just mentioned random people out there watching this, I am very, very thankful if you watch this and I hope that you enjoyed. I don't know. Um, if you did, like, oh wow, this feels like so weird, but like, give it a thumbs up if you did, you know? Actually, for a comment, you could write something about a person that you really love and appreciate. And then copy and paste and send it to them, because you can't say it enough, guys. <laughs> also, if anyone ever wants to reach out because they are going through something similar, or just like, reach out about anything, my social media links are always linked below, and you can definitely contact me on them. If you are interested in the other and way more entertaining side of myself, at least, I would say that you can definitely subscribe down below and click the bell, and you will be notified when I next upload. And I won't be as depressed as today. <laughs> anyway, thank you for wasting your time with me today. Okay, bye. Wow, I look fucked up. Uh, basically, there is a video of all my favorite small YouTubers coming very soon. So be excited for that and click the bell. But I just wanted to mention that I actually linked a unlisted video of my dad's music. And it would be kind of awesome to just like remember and celebrate him that way today. <laughs>